What's up guys, Gogglebush again. I want to talk about a topic that is kind of raging around the world, or around the internet right now, I should say. Um, I don't know if it's hit the news or, or whatnot, but it's pretty big around the internet. Um, I want to talk about Coney. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, there is a documentary about this guy, he, uh, and kind of the trials and tribulations of um, African African uh, child soldiers, uh, and he's kind of the written leader of a terror, uh, uh, an organization, um, spit it out, an organization deemed a terrorist organization by the U.S., okay? Now, uh, he obviously is a bad guy. The person who made this documentary is trying to stop him, get him arrested by the end of this year. I believe the person who named it who made the documentary is his name is um jason randall something along those lines okay i do apologize if i messed it up something along those lines again the link to the website is in the description in case you want to do something um and it's pretty big right now because what again for those of you who don't know what um the person i'll just make them as an organization as a whole uh invisible children uh what they're trying to do is they're trying to organize a Stop Coney 2012 whole campaign to get this guy arrested by the end of the year. How they are doing that is trying to make him famous. So obviously I'm doing my part here. Kind of like, although I don't support the movement, I'm kind of helping out here. Because uh, there's two more people. They hadn't heard of him there and they know. But, and I know that's kind of raging all over YouTube, so you can go ahead and watch, but this has been bugging me. Um, but, uh... Um, he wants to make Coney famous and how he's going to do that is he's going to make his name plastered everywhere and t stop Coney 2012 blah, blah 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 and on every city on April 20th they're doing something called Cover the Night Cover the Night is what they're doing is they're getting a bunch of people my age about like that's who they're shooting for they are advertising themselves for um, probably I don't know 16 to 26 year years of age you know like students okay high school and university students they're shooting for these people so i'm right in the thick of it um now um honestly i didn't really know what the hell was going on about him until i saw this facebook event and i, I had to check it out i'm like what the hell is going on here with this facebook event um cover the night they're getting all these people to put up posters and stickers and everything. Put them up around the city. So when people wake up on that Saturday morning, people are going to be like, who the hell is this? Let's look them up. Blah, blah, blah. Now, by making it so publicized, obviously, like, like my city's mayor, he, he was saying, it's like, well, I want to know everybody's opinion on it. Don't just spam me hundreds of tweets saying, this because I want to know what the hell's up which is true but you know it's fairly publicized so you can damn well assume on 420 horror 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 that half the people are going to be inside smoking marijuana and the other half are going to be outside putting up these posters let's make it quarters because I'm going to be inside probably uploading that day anyways <laughs> um, now uh, cover the night like they're putting up posters and everything. And I looked, I, I was creeping the Facebook event because I was kind of checking it out. I wanted to see what was up. And uh, they, so many people were like, fuck the permits. There's some people that are like, are you guys retarded? There's some people that are like, yeah, human rights movement. There's some people that are like, yeah, fuck permits. Okay, you're cool. You're my age. You're going to get a criminal record. Oops. Uh, <laughs> like, all I can see from happening this now, I'm I count myself a realist. Okay, I mean the I don't know. I'm a realist. I think about what would probably happen, what could happen. What can happen with these nights is one asshole takes it one too far, one step too far, steps on the wrong foot, and poof. Guess what? We got a riot. <laughs> That's what I see happening: a riots across every country because. You know, it only takes, like I said, only takes one person to be stupid and really on April 20th 
how many people do you think are going to be out there like high out of their minds going like yo they put up your papers and fuck the police you know it's gonna be nuts <laughs> like it's kind of ridiculous um and the worst part is i'm gonna have to drive the next day because those of you who don't know i do teach like young children uh karate and i'm gonna have to probably explain to them like hey you guys know what's all about this that'll be my part i mean i will partially do do anything but i'm not gonna do this cover the night shit anyways off topic that'll cause more domestic abuse not uh, domestic abuse <laughs> more domestic problems i should say among the, the city um and I've said this before. I have said this before. Gotta help yourself before you help others. Make sure you're in a safe spot before you go help others. And this guy, the Invisible Children Organization, they want countries to put down all their other warriors. Like, yo, no, no, no. We're not in a recession right now. <laughs> no, we're not. You know, we don't have troops in the middle of the Middle East doing whatever, probably, I don't know building sand castles. I don't know. That's a whole other topic, though. Don't even get me on that. But, uh, like, he wants international community to step up, go in with military, and take this guy down. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't think we have the resources right now to actually go and, uh, do this, for one. Um, I, I mean, I don't think we do. I mean, really, are we gonna fight a two-front war? Are we gonna be in the Middle East, over here, uh, are we going to be in the Africa, Uganda area here? Or are we just going to move them over here? Or, like, what are we doing? In my mind, there's, like, I don't know. And I find it kind of funny. Because how many years have child soldiers been used in Africa? Oh, many, many, many. But, yeah, this is the year we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do something about it. And... The biggest problem is although he's an asshole, there's going to be someone else who steps up. There's always hard times and troubles in Africa and anywhere in the world. You take down one bad guy, another guy's going to step up. You know, they're making such a big deal about this guy who's supposedly on the top of the list for the UN most wanted bad guys, criminals. Um, so what, after we get this guy, we're going to do the same exact thing for number two? Same thing for number three? Like, there's only so much you can do. Um, but then also I'll put this into perspective I'll put this into perspective because that's something I've been thinking about too so this works out so cover the night works out uh, the international community is like hell let's go in why the hell not go in probably with UN peacekeepers is what I would assume would go in not like specific uh, countries they go in and you know they start Joseph Cohen's there. He's like, oh shit, it's the UN. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's gonna protect his ass. What's he gonna protect his ass with? Oh, I don't know. Maybe children? Like, there's no way around it. <laughs> and what are the UN supposed to put down their guns and be like, oh, you cute little children. Now shoot me with your AK. No. Uh, I'm being very harsh here. I do recognize this. But fuck. Think about it for a second. Hey, hey, hey. My generation is retarded. They don't think ahead. They're like, yeah, let's do something about this now. And then later they'll be like, shit, let's do something about it again. And then it'll be like, fuck, my brain is exploding because of all this shit we're doing. Um, like, there's no way around it. Um, obviously it should stop. But it has to be done a different way, is what I'm saying. Is what I think. Um... Uh, I think the Coney 2012 thing is getting out of hand. And, like, although, again, it's for a good cause. Getting rid of this guy is going to be good for the world and good for all those African children that can finally go to school, do whatever. But the the execution of it, I think, is what's going to hurt. Because they want, they've said specifically, we want military intervention. And, like I said, why is Joseph Conan going to send out little kids with AKs? They're going to shoot, you know, rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. And 
is <laughs> it's not gonna be good um, like this issue is so oppressing right now it's weird that people are finally like hell that's ghosts I hate those kids ah, ah. I don't know like really I'm almost ashamed of my generation right now. There's one picture on Imager. One of me, you know, top there. It's like, watch 30 minute video, become a social activist. It's like, hell yeah, we are all social activists now because now we know exactly what's going on in the world so we can do something about it. Uh, yeah, because there's no problems elsewhere. You know, Palestine, you know. Egypt, I'm sure, still has problems. Um, hell, look out your backyard. There's probably some hobo sitting there with no fucking food or house. Problems here first before problems elsewhere. Okay? People don't recognize this. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't think the world... I Really, that's why I think we should almost pull out of the Middle East as well. But again, that's another topic. And... Um... People, no, I don't know. And even then, you really think you'll be arrested by the end of the year? Because let's say, okay, cover the night goes up April 20th. Think about this through. Think about how an international community react. Let's say they meet probably somewhere in May. Let's shoot for there. That's maybe the end of May, beginning of June. Is when the international community will finally decide, hey, let's, let's meet. They do that. How long will it take them to figure their shit out? July? August, September, probably October. Like, probably six months. I'm going to shoot for six months. So, December. They finally decide to go in. And he ain't going to be arrested by the end of the year. Like, I know it's a very good idea. It's something that should happen, but it's not going to happen. I'm sorry, but how long did it take for them to catch Bin Laden? How long? Years. Ten years. Ten years, yes. Ten years. Since September 11th. 10 years it took them to go and shoot Bin Laden. And really, like, you go into the Middle East, you go into Africa and you're doing the same situation as he did with the Middle East. You know, you're going in there, kind of intruding on all these people. Of course, they want to be free, but they don't want their homes to be kind of destroyed in the process. You know? So, I don't know. And also, like... <laughs> best part about it is we're going to try to help the Ugandan army. Oh, let's, let's think of their track record for a second. They probably raped. They probably indoctrinated their own soldiers. I know the dude in charge right now got in charge because of his child soldier army. Oh, yeah, 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 we'll help him. We'll help him, yeah. <sighs> Bro, it's insane. It's... Uh mind-boggling to me. Ever since I saw that video last night, I've just been thinking about all this other shit. It's totally mind-boggling to me. Totally. Because I can't understand... Man. I just can't understand why people think they're doing good by ruining the city even more. I just... Uh, something that's been bothering me. And, I mean, you see all those people that change their Facebook picture to Stop Coney, or they change their Twitter to Stop Coney. And even then, they are also want to get, like, I don't know, what was it, nine? I'm trying to remember from the video. I think it was they said they wanted nine international leaders. So, like, Obama, Canada, Europe, in there. And they also wanted, like, 24, I think, celebrities. Such as, I, I know in the video they showed, like, Ellen DeGeneres, um, Angela Jolie, George Clooney, um, Stephen Colbert. You know, all these people that was pull, but like the mayor of my city said, sending someone hundreds of tweets does not help your cause. Because that's what's going to end up happening. I'm sure it's happening right now. I don't follow any of these people on Twitter, so I don't know what they are replying to. But, I just, I, I, it's bothering to me. I don't know. Get rid, of, get rid of one person, you're just going to do the same damn thing. It's been happening in Africa for years. Years! And yes, it should stop, but will it stop fully? 
you take down Coney and you get fucking Joe Baloney over there going in now. I don't know. So in short, just remember what I said. I'm again I'm I'm for getting rid of Joseph Coney. He's a bad guy. I don't agree with what he was doing, and I don't agree with how he's doing anything. But I am also against Stop Coney and their their end goal and their execution of how they're gonna get there. I do not like. So, yeah, I don't know. Put in, like, this is just my two cents. There's fucking millions and millions of YouTube videos about this right now, probably. But I figured since it was probably my generation that he's shooting at, the invisible children are shooting at, then yeah. You know. There have also been reports of them not fully giving, like, only giving. What was it? 32%? But something like that. Like, a very minuscule amount to actually Africa. But that's another story. Uh, I'm also going to link uh, Paperback VG's video because he has a lot more on Invisible Children themselves. I uh, just wanted to talk about the uh, the problem at hand and the execution of it. So, go again. I'll get the links for the um, Stop Coney website stuff. Watch the video yourself. Make your own opinion. Don't just be like, yeah, this guy's a bad man. I'm going to join it. No, watch the video first. Create, create an opinion. And secondly, I also link Paper Bats, P Bats uh, video because I think he did a really good job on trying on putting his in his own two cents in. So this is fucking like 17 minutes long. I ranted like a motherfucker. Explain the situation. I don't know. Just please don't put any hate down in the comments. This is my opinion. You have yours. Okay. So I don't know what else there is to say. I don't know. Create a discussion. I always like seeing discussions here. Like, I don't know. I explained what would probably happen because it seems like people are avoiding that option. Avoiding to think of the negative, but the world is negative and that happens. You know? Um, nah.